Ever recall innocently digging a hole as a child and suddenly wondering to yourself, what would happen if I never stopped digging? Perhaps you thought you'd dig your way to another continent on the opposite side of the world, or maybe you'd hope to unearth something so valuable or unusual you'd be honored for your groundbreaking scientific discoveries. For most, this isn't a question we can ever hope to answer in our adult lives, but the question itself and the mystery surrounding it still stands. What is the deepest hole humanity could ever dig, and what might we find there? Well, stick around, because I'm about to attempt to answer this age-old head-scratcher for you. Amazing. The first question on your lips right now might be, why even bother? Isn't humanity already doing enough damage to the planet without us attempting to drill, burrow, or drive some great machine as far down as possible? And I hear you, but research does suggest that there might be a few viable benefits to attempting to achieve this, so far, unachievable feat. First up on my quick list of reasons we should attempt to dig the deepest hole ever besides just satisfying our own curiosity is the potential to create what I like to call the ultimate incinerator. No, this isn't a Bond villain style super weapon, but it's actually a pretty handy possible solution to the world's rapidly increasing waste problem. With landfill sites filling up fast, harnessing the unused potential of such a vast portion of the earth could buy humanity some time for waste disposal while we attempt to fix our current environmental crisis. But it isn't just general waste I'm talking about here, because the Earth's molten core could also be the most effective nuclear waste disposal unit yet. This concept might sound risky, but as much of the world's nuclear waste is currently disposed of by storing it in high-cost repositories under mountains or in caves where it can remain for thousands of years, it's worth thinking about. As temperatures down at the core are estimated to reach around 6,000 Kelvin, or 5,700 degrees Celsius, or 10,300 degrees Fahrenheit, Due to the decay of naturally radioactive elements such as uranium, thorium, and potassium, a super deep boiling hole could provide a much safer site for the biggest and most effective waste incinerator ever known. A second, more outlandish reason for attempting such an ambitious dig would be to fulfill the prophecy of the long-fabled gravity train which really is more like an elevator than an actual train and would basically comprise of a giant tube stretching from one side of the earth to the other, providing fast and efficient travel as the capsule accelerates towards the earth's core and decelerates on the way back out. If this sounds like something from science fiction rather than a feasible possibility, it's probably because it is. The gravity train has already been imagined in various ways, most famously in the 2012 action movie Total Recall. Besides, if you think it gets warm enough being stuck in a crowded elevator on a hot summer's day, just imagine one hurtling towards the Earth's boiling core. Although the gravity train might seem like a bit of a pipe dream, there are several other legitimate scientific and commercial gains to be had by attempting to explore further below ground than man has ever ventured before. Namely, by extracting untapped geothermal energy, gold, diamonds, or even oceans worth of water from within the mantle. So maybe there is still a case to be made for the world's deepest hole. But before I theorize about just how to achieve this mammoth task, let's first look at the current existing contenders for that same title. For a little perspective, the deepest known point in the ocean is known as the Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench, which has been measured at a depth of 36,070 feet or 10,994 meters. This vastly unexplored area of the deep is shrouded in mystery, and only three men have ever reached the bottom at around 6.8 miles below sea level. But what is the deepest hole actually dug by hand? Originally, a cost-cutting method which became a world record attempt, the Woodingdean Water Well in Woodingdean near Brighton, UK is the deepest hand-dug well ever recorded, taking a total of four years to create with a depth of some 1,285 feet. Try pulling that out at a pop quiz. Turning attention to some of the biggest man-made hole aided by machinery, the Mir Mine is an open-pit diamond mine located in Mirny, eastern Russia, which has a diameter of 3,900 feet and a depth of over 1,722 feet, or 525 meters, making it one of the largest excavated holes in the world. Following its initial discovery as a diamond-bearing depository in 1955, the mine brought in 10 million carats of diamonds per year, and since becoming recommissioned in 2009, it's expected to stay in operation for another 50 years. If we're talking semi-natural holes, here's an interesting one. The Guatemala sinkhole is a 30-story deep gaping chasm which may appear to have been caused by a freak sinkhole, 
but was in fact the result of a man-made piping feature. A natural sinkhole occurs when water-saturated soil causes the roof of an underground limestone cavity to collapse, but as Guatemala City is formed atop ground made up of a material called pumice fill, the natural occurrence of this giant hole is unlikely. Instead, a lack of building regulations in the area means that untreated leaking underground pipes are more likely to have loosened the gravel-like pumice, causing the correct conditions for what is essentially a man-made sinkhole. Scary stuff. But perhaps the most widely known, deepest hole attempt goes to the Kola Super Deep Borehole in Russia. This monster hole is the result of a Soviet Union scientific project which attempted to drill as deep as possible into the Earth's crust, reaching a true vertical depth of 40,230 feet or 12,262 meters. After 24 years, drilling eventually ceased in 1994 because, basically, the drill started to melt while struggling against temperatures of 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Although this still remains an incredible scientific achievement, reaching deeper than the deepest point in the ocean, the borehole still only reaches 0.2% of the weight of the legitimate center of the Earth which is estimated to be more than 63,000 kilometers below the surface. Another attempt to reach closer to the mantle than the Kola Super Deep Borehole is the deepest oil well in history, known as the Deepwater Horizon. This drilling rig was located offshore, where the Earth's crust is slightly thinner, but it ended in total disaster when in 2010, a geyser of seawater erupted, causing a chain of events which transformed the slushy remnants of drilling mud and methane into a gas. The gas then ignited into a series of intense explosions. In actual fact, the true deepest hole humans have ever dug is known as Z44 Chavo, which is the world's deepest well with a total depth of 40,604 feet or 12,376 meters in length. The Sakhalin 1 project, responsible for creating the well, had previously surpassed the Kola Super Deep Hole with its history of ambitious digging projects, but the Z44 Chavo seriously takes the cake with a dizzy depth that is 10,000 feet deeper than the peak of Mount Everest, if it were turned upside down. Now that I've told you what you might be up against if you were thinking about trying to dig the deepest hole of all time, let's imagine what it could take to tunnel further than these existing super deep holes combined. All expenses spared, of course. As I have already mentioned, the Earth's center consists of various known layers which must be pierced before the spherical true core at the very middle can be reached. What's known as the outer core, which sits below 230,000 feet or 70,000 meters of surface crust and 1,800 miles or 2,900 kilometers known as the mantle, is around 1,400 miles or 2,260 kilometers thick and is believed to influence Earth's magnetic field, making the solid inner core at the central point around 3,958 miles or 6,371 kilometers down from surface level, give or take. So with that basic scientific stuff out of the way, what is the deepest point humanity could hope to reach without all machinery burning up entirely? Current research suggests our greatest achievement could be reaching the Mohorovicic boundary, or MOHO, which is located between the crust and the mantle at three to six miles or five to 10 kilometers below the ocean floor and 10 to 60 miles or 20 to 90 kilometers beneath typical continental crusts. This landmark scientific objective could also be extremely valuable for scientific research purposes because it is the precise area where 99% of all deep focus earthquakes are generated and could therefore provide answers to some of the biggest questions about the origins of our planet. Although there have been various attempts, including the Kola Super Deep Borehole, to explore the Moho and the upper mantle nearby, humanity has thus far failed to travel more than a mere 0.2% of the distance to the center of the planet and it took a hell of a lot of time and money to get there. So where does that leave us now exactly? It's fair to say that we have quite literally only scratched the surface when it comes to exploring the Earth's true deepest point, but it doesn't seem all too likely that we can hope to reach it soon either. This is primarily due to the extreme conditions which reside below the ground we walk on, only increasing in risk as you travel further to the center. Besides the unbearable temperatures which have now been estimated at a scorching 300 degrees Celsius or 570 degrees Fahrenheit, at 40,000 plus feet, we might also expect to encounter some serious technical difficulties with spontaneous curving of deep wells during drilling. In fact, it wouldn't be too much of a stretch to assume that any attempt to drill further than the Z44 Chavo or Kola Super Deep Borehole have already gone would be so technically challenging and expensive at an estimated $1 billion 
that it would not be done for the purpose of science at all. Considering that the overall risk appears to exceed the possible reward as things currently stand, the closest achievement we can anticipate in the near future would be piercing the outer crust in order to explore the Earth's mantle, while the innermost layers remain just out of reach. Don't lose faith just yet though. Just because the chances of reaching the Earth's center might seem slim, doesn't mean some pretty feasible ways to beat all odds have not been put forward. One research paper published in 2005 has proposed that because both extreme temperatures and ever-increasing pressure below surface level are likely to prevent any current drilling techniques from reaching the Earth's inner core, a self-sinking nuclear capsule could well be the answer. Sounds pretty cool, right? This method would essentially involve probing the Earth's greatest depths by detecting sound waves emitted by the self-sinking capsule in question, which would then provide us with a greater understanding of the composition of the layers it travels through. This delightfully simple proposal, while no doubt expensive, manages to overcome the many barriers which currently prevent further drilling by essentially allowing Mother Nature to do all the work mankind has been unable to. Because the capsule itself would be made of tungsten, which has an extreme melting point of 3400 degrees Celsius or 6150 degrees Fahrenheit, it would be able to withstand the temperature of the mantle, while an inner sphere of highly radioactive cobalt-60 would be enough to heat and melt the surrounding rock as it travels toward the core. Of course, there are also the obvious dangers to attempting to create an unobstructed hole to the center of the Earth, like permanently disrupting the Earth's fundamental structure or even unintentionally causing a brutal active volcano by releasing some insane amounts of pressure through the Earth's crust. But this is all just hypothetical for now at least. Ultimately, it's clear that we know less about what lies below the ground we stand on than what goes on in planets on the other side of the solar system, so attempting to dig deeper than ever before could have some serious benefits. As it stands, attempting to reach the uncharted mantle below the Earth's crust could be our best bet when it comes to those unanswered questions. And with technological advancements never few and far between, who knows what could follow? Do you think it'll be possible in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.